All right, here we go. We're going in the Yoda exhibit. Oops. Oh, here's one of the Ewoks. Like some kind of parasite on the top of his head. Unfortunately, the uh, the writer didn't like us messing with the story. And so He's done other things he besides Yoda. He's done a bunch of stuff. Look at this is the Jawa Blaster. It's one of the Ewoks. Oh, we did the Ewok too. Yep. I wonder how they could. Do not touch anything. Well, and what is that? That's the. That's one of the. Those the ice. The ice monster. Oh, it was one of the things that they ride in the ice. Okay. So these are all the Star Wars stuff. Some of the scripts. These are the scripts, original scripts. Movie scripts evolve and change between drafts dramatically so with the early Star Wars scripts. Compare the roll-in text for each of the first three drafts to see how planets, societies, and character descriptions differ highly from those we have known to grow and love. So he said if you start reading these things, you'll see that they had no idea what they were doing. So they changed a lot from the scripts. These were the original scripts. This is a third draft script from Star Wars. This is the scene from the original Star Wars where Obi-Wan says, the force will be with you always. All right, so let's go on. These are some of the molds that the guy makes, Nick makes from different movies. Okay, let's, let's move on to the Star Wars, A New Hope. This is some of the original scripts. This is one of the Tusken Raiders right here. Wow, it's pretty cool. So the production used storyboard, Star Wars Episode Four, 1977, A New Hope. You gotta see this in person. Tusken Raider, that's a cool, that would be a cool Halloween costume. Look at this, he even did stuff in the Terminator. The stunning special effects produced by creative effects designer Stan Winston for Terminator 2 remain unsurpassed. I remember the face things on Arnold Schwarzenegger. Planet of the Apes, the reboot. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was here. Yeah, the movie Prowl, didn't see that one. All right. Oh, this is cool. There's Emperor Palpatine. Uh, he got a he got an award or something letter. We are thrilled to release the film, the first films of the Star Wars saga, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, in spectacular 3D worldwide. You are part of the reason Star Wars has been so successful over the years. Enclosed is a limited edition collectible print to celebrate the release. Thank you for your continued support of the Star Wars films from the Lucasfilm family. Who? I guess this is the print that they gave him, original print from The Force Awakens. It's one of the Star Trooper helmets. Emperor Palpatine. There's Darth Vader, actually, by the way. Right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he had a name, but that's that little annoying little yeah. pest. Look at this. This is from another movie, Ghost Shimmer. These are all these little drawings. Storyboards. That's what these are, storyboards. You do the same thing in software design, storyboards. There's more So instead scripts. of drawing them, it's all... Soft. Yeah, they do storyboards. They There's do? more storyboards. Yeah. More scripts and storyboards. Wow, 
lots of storyboards in here. Original hand-drawn storyboard right here. This is what Nick says. If you don't invest in your impossible dreams, you are the one who guarantees that they won't come true. That's profound. Because in those days, they couldn't take a life mask without killing people. So they waited until kings and, and leaders uh, really died cool. before they made a replica. Lots of storyboards, original drawings. He made a lot of the molds for the makeup. There's Harry and the Hendersons, so he was in instrumental in making these and he's a makeup artist nick Mayo is a makeup artist this is from empire strikes back he's frozen in the carbonite nick assisted stewart and graham freeman freehorn that's his boss stewart um and this life cast of harrison ford as han solo in carbonite the body of Alan Harris, who played something, was molded separately, and the two elements were composited to make the final piece. Interesting. And these are all for makeup purposes. He was a makeup artist, so you can see all kinds of other molds. Not really sure what these were for. This was Captain Jack. That was for the Joker. Interesting. Marlon Brando. Hellraiser. Boris Karloff. Bella Lugosi. What else do we have right here? Life Force. He was involved in a lot of movies. Lots of behind the scene photos here. <clears throat> Look at there's Mark Hamill. It's like George Lucas right there. Behind the scenes, really, really cool. There's Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. Team. He was very instrumental in that. And here's Superman. Some storyboards there. And I stepped over there's David. Nick giving a story. And I went and I sat down and I sorted things up and tried to look busy. And they walked towards us to where the Tom Tom was. 
and uh, Stu said, uh, Bobby, you've been working on the Tom Tom. Come and tell Mr. Lucas about what's going on. And Bobby's got sweat popping out of his head as he steps over David and walks down and goes round the corner. And he's Looks trying like to stand so that no one can Harrison see David Ford. in the corner. He's trying to block him because he's a big guy. <laughs> Like this, while he talks about uh, what they're doing on the Tonton, we were building basically the head. The body was uh, coming out of another department. And then he went back again. <laughs> and he saw some things up as well, so trying to look busy. Well, I think this was a forward. moment of truth. Maybe not. Were these people going to walk another one of out them. of the workshop, or were they going to turn into this Fair little corridor? Problems. That would bring them to where David was nailed to the floor. <laughs> and it was like slow motion as they gently turned the corner. And I, you know, it was like my life, was, my professional life was flashing in front of me. And Stuart was leading them. They were all right behind each other. And he came to the corner of the table and he walked around and there was David nailed to the floor. <laughs> and he stopped. And George Lucas bumped into the back of him and he went <laughs> and stepped over him. <laughs> and, and George Lucas stopped and Gary Kurtz bumped into him and he stepped over him too. <laughs> and everybody, one at a time, they all stepped over and David's on the floor going, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> wow. All right, so there's Nick Maui. And the last little section of the room, the early designs of Yoda. Let's see what they look like. First he looked like an elf. There were six puppeteers for Yoda in episodes five and six. And there's Frank Oz. One of the more popular ones. There's the cinema secrets of building Yoda. Looked like they had a person that they modeled him after. Kind of looks like him. Oh, here's Men in Black. Here is the final display. Such a nice guy who really behaved so well in the difficult suit that both myself and the continuity recommended him to play Chewbacca when we both went on to that new movie. One of the other characters that we created was Pondo. Pondo was sculpted by my friend Chris Tucker, and he was the character that got his arm cut off when Obi Wan had to now, one of the other things about Pondo was that he had this big sucker hand. Now, these hands were something that I'd originally sculpted for a character called Spizzit, who was a fly-like character. Because uh, we didn't have much time to create these creatures, and we only had probably three or four types of things, when uh, other characters were being dressed, they would be allotted some of the hands that had been made by other characters, and Pondo ended up with those sucker hands that were made for Spizzit. When uh, they filmed uh, the fight uh, in the cantina and uh, only one and cut Pondo's arm off and it was fallen to the floor, they went into a close-up. And in that close-up, uh, they thought, very well, cool, we very don't cool. think that only one just attacked him and he should have a mental impact. And then they realized that the big fucking man couldn't fire a pistol. And so they reshot the man with a... So there you go. Here's Yoda. Yoda. 